Hi scholars! For me, I'm recording this on Martin Luther King Day, so happy Martin Luther King Day! In honor of him, we are going to learn about him as a person while being able to read a text and answer questions that are explicitly in the text. So this video is going to be me doing a model that will show you exactly how to do your practice and exit ticket Nearpods. Let's get started. Okay, so of course I'm going to click Join Lesson. And here is my first piece of text. I'll read it aloud. Martin Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. is a very important man in the history of the United States of America. He was born on January 15, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His father and grandfather were both pastors. This inspired him to go to school to also become a pastor or religious leader. He met his wife, Coretta Scott, in Boston after he moved there for school. Let me click the blue arrow for the next slide. All right, there's a quiz question. And this is gonna ask me something that was right in the text. So it says, according to the text, what inspired Dr. King to become a pastor? My answer options are A, his pets, B, his mother, C, his father and grandfather. Okay, well, I know that pets is not the right answer because I didn't read anything about pets, but I am going to go back into the text to find my answers. So I remember, okay, it says where he is born, and right here it says his father and grandfather were both pastors. This inspired him to go to school to also become a pastor. All right, so it did not say his mother, like B said, but it said his father and grandfather. And I have to remember to click submit. That's the only way Miss Griffin can see that I chose the right answer. Okay, it tells me I got it correct. So I'm going to move forward with the green arrow. All right, this is part of being a great reader is we need to highlight where we got our answer and we can't forget to hit submit. If you forgot how to highlight, I'm going to click this blue arrow to get rid of the directions. So now I can see the whole text. I'm going to click this highlighter pen. You can pick what color. I'm going to pick yellow. You can pick whatever color you want. And I'm going to highlight the part of the text that I found my answer. And that is right here where it says his his father and grandfather were pastors. And I'm going to put I'm going to highlight the part that says that inspired him to become a pastor because it says it right in the text. All right, I have to click the blue submit button for Miss Griffin to get my work and then it's going to take me right to the next slide. This is my next piece of text so I'm going to start reading it. What makes Martin Luther King Jr. so important to the United States though is his belief in civil rights. He believed that people should not be judged based on their skin color, so he peacefully fought for equality among all races. He would give speeches, lead marches, and organize other nonviolent forms of protest. King's main goals were to have racial equality and civil rights for all. Something that Martin Luther King Jr. is very famous for is his I Have a Dream speech, which happened in Washington, D.C. in 1963. This speech went on to become one of America's most famous speeches in history. King is honored every year on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. This is celebrated on the third Monday in January. That's today, January 18th. There are also several museum exhibits that show important information about King. And throughout the United States, there are many roads that are named after Martin Luther King Jr. All right, let's read the quiz question that's going to be a question about the text. It says, according to the text, what makes Dr. King important in the United States? All right, well, my first option is A, his belief in civil rights, B, his belief that people should earn more money, or C, his beliefs that protests should be peaceful. Well, I know that I can go ahead and get rid of one. I know it's not B, his belief that people should earn more money. So I'm going to go back in the text to see where it says why Dr. King is important in the United States. I'm even looking for the words United States. I see them a couple times. So the first time is here up top. It says, what makes Martin Luther King Jr. so important to the United States? Okay, that's good. Those are the question. Those are the words of the question I'm being asked. It says, is his belief in civil rights? 
Okay, so right there in the text, it says it's his belief in civil rights. So I'm going to go back to my quiz. I know that he believed in peaceful protest. So even though that's true, it's not the right answer. The right answer is A, his belief in civil rights, because that's what the text says. So I click that response, and now I have to click the blue submit button. And you guessed it. When I click the blue arrow, it's going to ask me to highlight the text Highlight in the text where I found my answer. So let's see, I click the highlighter pen. This time I'm gonna highlight in green. And I'm gonna go to where I found my answer. So it says right in the first sentence, what makes Martin Luther King Jr. so important to the United States is his belief in civil rights. And that's where I got my answer. So I click the blue submit. And now I know that I'm done with the Nearpod because I get this image. So scholars, this is exactly what you're going to be doing in your practice and your exit ticket. I can't wait to see what you learn about Martin Luther King and to see you pick the right answer choice and highlight your answer in the text.